Hello, my crafty friends. Well, today I have a fun card background technique that you can create with plastic wrap. So grab your saran wrap or glad wrap or even a plastic bag as well as your favorite ink color so that you can stamp and follow along with me. Yes, I did say we are going to stamp with plastic wrap. Hi, it's Lynn Dunn from Stamptastic Designs. Thanks so much for joining me today. In this episode of Stamptastic TV, I will share three different ways you can use plastic wrap or a plastic bag to create a fun background for your cards. Now, the cards in this video feature the beautifully braided bundle from Stampin' Up. Now, the bundle includes a stamp set and a punch. Plus, you get a 10% discount if you order it in a bundle. For a complete list of supplies and all of the step-by-step -step instructions for creating these cards, feel free to download the printable tutorial. You can find the link in the description below this video. Now for this technique, you can either use a plastic bag or plastic wrap. Now I recommend the use of plastic wrap because once we crinkle it up, it will hold that shape much better than a plastic bag will. And it will make it a lot easier to stamp with. But you can certainly use a plastic bag as well. Now, have you ever heard of this technique before or have you tried it? Leave me a comment below. All right, so let's dive in. So the first way you can use plastic wrap in your card making is to stamp a colorful background with it. So we will be covering an entire five and a quarter by four inch piece of white cardstock with some color that we stamp with that plastic wrap. So we're gonna start by bunching the plastic wrap together to form a little crumpled ball, kind of a loosely crumpled ball of plastic that you can easily hold in one hand. So then you're gonna take that little ball of plastic and simply blot it on your ink pad and stamp with it. Now each time you stamp, you want to re-ink your plastic and stamp again. Now you can continue to stamp without re-inking. It's just gonna give you a lighter texture, lighter design on the card but it certainly leaves a fun textured look on the cardstock, don't you think? So continue to ink up that plastic wrap and stamp it across the entire piece of cardstock until you achieve the desired look. Then go ahead and create the rest of your card. So for this card, I decided to use the beautifully braided bundle. So I used the stamp set here in the background. Um, it has a very large floral image that worked perfect with this background technique. And then I cut out a little braided piece with the punch and added it across the bottom. And of course my little sentiment. And then you can just embellish it with a few pearls. It's just a very quick and simple card idea. Okay, the second way you can use the plastic wrap technique is with a bit of masking. So masking involves covering up parts of the cardstock so that when we stamp with our plastic wrap, the color is only visible in the areas that we want it. So we're gonna use some thin pieces of paper to cover up parts of the cardstock and we're going to stamp with our plastic wrap right down the center of this white cardstock. So we're gonna start with a five and a quarter by four inch piece of white cardstock. And I'm using just some thin scrap paper to create the mask. Now, if you have large post-it note paper, that works really well for masking. Um, otherwise, you can use like printer paper, something really thin I would recommend instead of cardstock. So in this case, I'm just using some little scrap pieces of thin paper and a bit of washi tape just to hold the mask in place. So I'm masking off about an inch or so on each side of the cardstock because I want the color from my plastic wrap to go right down the center of the card. So now that I have my mask in place, I can start stamping with the plastic wrap. So the concept is the same. We're just going to ink up our plastic wrap and we're going to dab it across the center of the card. So once we've achieved the desired look, then we can go ahead and remove the mask. So you notice how the mask allows the color to go directly down the center and keeps the edges, you know, the, the inch on each side, free from color. Okay, so once you have that masked area colored, then you can go ahead and stamp your images. So again, I'm using the beautifully braided stamp set. So I just added my floral image right down the center, and then again added a little braided piece on the bottom, 
cut out my little sentiment there, and then embellished it with some pearls. So again, this is just another quick and simple way that you can use this background technique. All right, and the third way you can use plastic wrap in your card making is to add two or more colors to your background. So for this technique, I started randomly stamping with Daffodil Delight, and then I added in another color, which was Calypso Coral. So the concept is the same as the first card that I shared with you. I'm just adding a couple more colors. Now you can add as many colors as you want to create your background. And the cool thing about this is that you don't need to get another piece of plastic wrap to add that second color or even a third color. You can simply blot that color off. So in this case, I used yellow initially. So I simply blotted off the yellow color and then I went ahead and inked up the Calypso Coral color and started stamping with that. So once I achieved the desired look, then I decorated the card. And again, I used the same concept to decorate the card, except for this time I added my braided trim here on the side of the card, um, but the concept for creating it is basically the same as the others. So there you go. Now you have three different ways that you can use plastic wrap to create colorful backgrounds for your cards. And if you enjoyed these cards, feel free to download the printable tutorial. You can find the link in the description below this video. Thanks so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know by liking it and sharing it with your friends. And leave me a comment below to let me know what you enjoyed most about the video and the cards shared here today. Have a fun and creative day, my friends. Take care.